You say stuff. that right, but you were talking for like fifty friggin' lectures as well, right? So Well that's that was it, a mistake. That I just want to say that that was a big mistake. That was <laughs> I had if five you and I was Scott Bourne were like on about every friggin' thing. And well, so well, here's we did we both that, well, Scott and I made the same mistake. We sent them, they asked us what can you speak about? And I gave them a list of options and they just said yes. <laughs> you know, <laughs> so the nice. next thing I knew, I was in five. I was speaking five times. So, my, so my only question to you, Alex, is: is, is the speaker swag worth trying to get a speaking gig there or not? Um, not really. I mean, the the reason that I <laughs> the, the speaker swag. I mean, we had we got a good cotta bag the last time. This one was a little too small. Um, the main thing is you get it. You get a conference pass, which means that you can kind of you know you can go to anything that you want to. But then of course you never have time to actually see anybody else's stuff. Uh, the big thing about being a speaker is you meet lots of people. So you you know you get up there and you're speaking in front of 100 people or 50 people or or 80 people, and the people in the in that area are people who work at Discovery or they work at you know I don't know I mean uh, the Defense Department and all these crazy things of people who are doing video, and they come up at the end and they want to talk to you about other things or you get emails later and and it just kind of helps you create that network. It's a much more like when, when it comes to finding cool people. You get up there and you talk about what you know a lot about or something that you're passionate about, and you find other people that are kind of in a similar vein. And it may be two or three people out of, um, uh, you know, out of hundreds uh, that you might speak in front of, but uh, they, a lot of times, those things end up to be interesting down the road. Well, and that's kind of my opinion on most conferences these days. Is you know, it's the it's the little the people you meet in the hallway that are the real value out of it. That's it is, why but I still it's, think it's easier. It to, it's, it's easier to meet them in the hallway when you sit in front of two hundred of them at a time. Yes, exactly. That's and when you have a speaker badge, and, no, I, I absolutely. <laughs> so totally that tends to be why I why I tend to yes. approve it. Remember when the South by Southwest was thing on, and they had that whole thing about the audience twittering and the response of the journalist on stage and stuff. Right. So I'm sitting at Stu and Alex's super session, but here am I twittering in the audience, right? Yeah. Just you know, blogging it in real time, effectively. And it suddenly dawned on me that everything that I was saying was going to be read by Alex and Stu and guys <laughs> as soon as they got off stage. And I'm like, close friends with three of these guys. And I'm like, hang on a second. Yeah. So it was a reverse the tables. It was like I was sort of wow. Why, am I going to be upset if he reads this? And I, I like looked back at everything I'd written in the last hour. I was like, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I was I was pretty upset about the whole thing. You know, I was. Uh, <laughs> 